now let's go to the second big addition, and that's more of an addition for um, for music people, I I think, and that's the repair assistant. So our our products come with lots of assistive tech. Um, when you look at Neutron or Ozone, they all come with assistants that help you mixing, mastering, and in this case, it helps you repairing audio in a very easy way. So if you um, come up here on the upper right side and click the repair assistant, a new module will open up. And I say new because it's really built from the ground up. We had something called repair assistant in the previous versions, but this is a completely new product. Um, so we basically got rid of the old one and made something new. And I'll talk about this for a little uh, min for a minute. Repair assistant looks at your audio and uh, uses some, we call it selective learning to find Anom anomalies in your anomalies anomalies in your audio <laughs> there's four different modes you can use it in there's a, a voice mode which is good for spoken word voice over sung vocals we have a uh, musical mode uh, and as you can see when i switch between the two uh, the modules change so we have a music mode um, and instead of a de -esser, it's got something called de harsh uh, which is pretty cool on drums um, it tames the highs especially when you I use that on overheads that have too, you know, too many high uh, informations in it. And then we've got de-click and we have the percussion mode. Now we, we did that for a reason. Uh, if you look at how percussions look in a spectrogram, RX might look at it as clicks and pops. And one of our developers said, well, beats are pops and clicks, aren't they? And that's pretty much what they are. So we have, uh, or we had to have a separate, um, mode for percussion so rx doesn't start to remove your snare hits or um, hi-hat strokes or whatever and then we have a sound effects mode which is great for um, anything like ambience or keyboards even <clears throat> chris is the uh is that resizable that it that is not resizable unfortunately but w yeah we <laughs> we know it should probably be uh, especially when you look at it in a YouTube stream. I, I'm pretty, I mean, it's cool for me, but uh, I can imagine that you guys out there, it might be um, more difficult. Anyway, let me just quickly show you what it does. So um, I have some dialogue in the background, and this could also be sung vocals. And if we listen to that... As I never saw my father or my mother, and never saw any likeness of either of them, for their days were long before the days of photographs. There's two things that I realize... Um, and I can already see them in the spectrogram. Um, there's some buzz or like some hum going on, but also I think it's a bit harsh uh, and we could use a de -esser. Now, if I want to use the repair assistant, I only need to hit learn and it will analyze the audio material, will listen to it and will suggest a repair chain uh, and already put in some values. So what we see now is we've got the de engaged, we've got mouth de click engaged, that's interesting. We've got de reverb engaged, which is a great tool if you record a podcast at home and your room is not treated um, and you still have some reverb going on, so this is great. And we don't have any de clip engaged because there's no clipping. Now, if I hit compare, RX will run a first pass with the settings uh, that I just or that repair assistant suggested. So I'm going to listen to what we have after the repair. As I never saw my father or my mother and never saw any likeness of either of them, for their days were long before the days of photographs. So we can hear that the, the hum is drastically reduced. Um, now, you don't see a de-hum module in, in the assistant. Uh, there's one information which is pretty important about the repair assistant. It's not only featuring the modules you can see here, but it's also featuring some de-hum, some dynamic de-hum in the background. Uh, and that's also kind of usable in real time if you have a DAW that supports uh, audio delay compensation. Um, that's a reason why we have this as a VST plugin, um, an AU plugin, and also as an audio suite plugin for Pro Tools, and eventually, hopefully, as an AAX plugin, but not at this point. Anyway, um, coming back to Assistant, I think 
the asses are still a bit harsh, so I'm going to run this in preview mode. As I never saw my father or my mother, and never saw any likeness of either of them, for their days were long before the days of photographs. Not I tamed the asses a bit. Now, I really want to hear what mouth the click is doing, and I really uh, recommend people having headphones or a, a decent pair of speakers to listen what's going on. Um, there's this little ear symbol, and I want to listen to what um, the D-click module is actually removing from my audio. And um, I warn you, this could be a little bit gross. Could you hear that? I, I could I, hear it. I could hear. I could hear a decent amount. It was quite quiet, but um, I think the, yeah. the point was made. Yeah. Okay. So what we can do, just to show you, uh, I removed a lot of of mouth clicks. If I hit render in this mode where the ear is on, um, we will just see the clicks. So this is actually how mouth clicks uh, or what mouth clicks look like. If you if you want to listen to that. And I think it is gross. I'm, I'm, I'm. It's really hard for me to listen to this. I'm extremely misophonic, and um, <laughs> well, don't torture yourself for us. We get it, man. Let's <laughs> right. Okay. So repair assistant does these things for you, and um, it helps you to f to fix audio issues very quickly without knowing much about repair. Uh, and I'm going to come back to repair assistant in a different place because if I close this and jump over to my door of choice. Um, the cool thing about Repair Assistant is that it runs as a plugin in your DAW. So again, I've got some some vocals in here, and gold to rely. And it could be anything. It could also be a guitar. Wow, there's a decent amount amount of hiss in there. So what you can do now is you can just open up your plugins in Logic, Cubase, uh, Nuendo. Um, Ableton, Studio One, whatever. Look for the Repair Assistant. Open this as a standalone plugin and run a learn pass on the audio. So when you hit learn, uh, the Repair Assistant expects you to, to uh, play some audio. So it's now waiting for audio. I'm going to play back. And go to rely on compassion. But how to live, it's about how... Right, so now you can see this nice uh, animation in the middle. And if I just play back a little bit of his vocals and then the, the noise afterwards... I know that I know... And then hit bypass. If Again. you were to go now, are you ready? Bypassed engage if you were it didn't remove all of the hum but we're pretty close to what i would say is a good um well a good turnout um so yes repair assistant works in the door um if we want to go over here to that little guitar snippet um can also throw in repair assistant on this track perhaps turn that guitar down just a tad please okay no worries Gonna do that right here. Great. Just a tad, like Just a let's tad. do this. Oh, okay. Again, I will run repair assistant. And play it back again with the repair assistant engaged. Now, what you can certainly hear is that some of the highs were maybe tamed a little too much. Um, so you could go back in and reduce the noise reduction level here. But it's a, it's an extremely helpful tool. Or and I didn't switch over to um, music, by the way, which I should have done. Um, so. Yeah, I would reduce the, the noise removal a little bit. Now, what blows my mind is, and this is again one of these examples where I'm like, I, a couple of years ago, this 
I would have said this is not possible, it's broken. So if we listen back to this little bit of, of a telephone chat here, well, and I bypass this. Well, first, uh, first answer to that, I guess, is that, you know, every night up till, uh, you know, brewing coffee at about midnight. Some people like distortion, and I think I just saw comments on that in the chat. Um, if you want to get rid of the distortion in this bit, you can run Repair Assistant. Well, first, uh, first answer to that, I guess, is that, you know, every night up till, uh, you know, brewing coffee at about midnight. Well, first, uh, first answer to that, I guess, is that, you know, every night up till, uh, you know, brewing about mid, about mid. Now I'm going, just going to play back what a repair assistant su suggested. Well, first, uh, first answer to that, I guess, is that, you know, every night up till, uh, you know, brewing coffee at about midnight. Well, Still, it's not great audio, but the distortion, like the really harsh distortion is gone. And you can see that the clip was activated here. Uh, and we can also just listen back to what it's removing. So that's a great thing. Even if you have like, even if you have a singer in the studio and she or he gets a little overexcited and gets louder and you know, you've got some, you've got a great take, but you've got distortion. Now Repair Assistant can really help you. And the cool thing about this little thing is it can just live on your channel. It's got a de built in, a dynamic de um, with lots of bands. So I started using this quite often um, because it's very handy to use in the DAW. <laughs>